and here you can see the project that we're going to work on it is a beautiful embroidery design we've got a curved edge and one of the nicest things about this project is the beautiful metal buckle inside I've got enough room to hold my iPad and I've made a pocket for my charger as well so let's come and have a look at what we are going to need. Now the cutting instructions are of course included with your um, instructions, but fundamentally what we have here is a large piece of felt. We then have our front pocket and the project will sit over like that and we've got the pocket from a hardware point of view the only hardware that is mandatory to have is this brilliant clasp and I'm going a gunmetal clasp today just to really merge in with the black and you'll see that these clasps come with the screws that you need to complete them so I'm going to pop those back in there so that I don't lose them nice to haves but not mandatory I'm going to attach a lovely little handmade label to my project and I'm going to make sure that I can carry my pouch around me at all times by attaching a handle with a set of these bag side clasps as well. Okay, so that's our requirements. The only other thing you're going to need is a stabilizer, and I'm using Tearaway, and you will need embroidery threads, of course, as well. Okay, let's get started. Now, as you can see, I have my stabilizer, which is just tearaway stabilizer, loaded into the machine. And all I'm going to do is stitch with a wash away thread. And we use a wash away thread so that it doesn't leave any residue at the end of the project. And I'm going to stitch the outline to show where we are going to place our felt. Now as I bring my felt in I'm going to leave the wash away thread in the needle and I've just got regular thread in the um, bobbin because we'll be able to pull that away when the wash away is gone and what I want to do is just cover the edges of that outline and the cork I'm um, sorry the felt has been cut very specifically to make room for that so I'm going to lay that felt over you can secure that with a little bit of um, painters tape if you wish however I am just going to hold that in place and then stitch out colorway 2 and excuse me while I just re-thread that And I'll come through, thread again, and stitch colorway two, which is going to hold down those elements or all of that felt. What it also does is it gives us a template to then cut the rest of the um, the curve of the device cover on and we'll just come through okay so that's the most difficult part of this part of the stitching because from here all we're going to do is now stitch our design 
and the colors are totally up to you um, and I always recommend that people use colors that appeal to them the joy of having such an abstract style design is that it will really look different depending on what colors you use and the first set of stitches I've done in a gold color and they are a really small candle wick style design so just small and elegant now you'll see that my machine appears to be stitching at quite a high speed at the moment don't stress about that in real life I was stitching at um, 500 stitches per minute needle that I'm using is an 1175 needle and I have used a black bobbin fill just so that it blends in a little bit better with the black felt the other things to know when you are playing with felt is felt has the ability or knowledge of being a little bit troublesome um, it will leave a little bit more residue in your bobbin so do try and clean your machine a little bit um, a little bit more often and as we move through the different colors um, on our stitching guide you will see just how it all builds up to create the final picture so my second colorway here is a tealish sort of a green and it's got lots of um, leaves and little curticles on it for my third color which is actually colorway number five um, I've gone with a lemon yellow and I just liked the idea of brightening this up a little bit and you can see the way the stitches and I've de deliberately digitized this to ensure that the stitches are open what I don't want with something like felt is a really thick design that is just going to make the felt even thicker than it is so whilst the design on this is fairly large it is actually only um, so there's no underlay and there's no heavy satin it's all very open in the stitching which just adds to the look of it I think It's also a symmetrical design so it works first on one side and then on the other I do just love watching a machine stitch though I think it just has a real um, soothing effect and we're just coming through to the last of the yellow here and then we are going to change over to and I'm thinking we're going to change over to a pink color here once again do feel free to choose whatever colors suit you when it comes to tear away I like a nice medium weight tear away and I find that's perfect for this project from a design size point of view this design measures and sorry I'm just looking here um, this design measures 140 wide and 200 high the way that we've done this in the hoop is that the design comes with all of those tack down stitches we have also included for you just the design so that you can create 
this and machine stitch it with a regular sewing machine as well. So both sets of those instructions are included with the project. And now we're moving on to my orange color, which once again just adds a little bit of a pop. When you're looking for, for felt, please steer away from the acrylic craft felt. You actually need a really thick three millimeter felt for this project to work. It really does need to stand up by itself. And of course we do sell the kits for this um, project. Okay, and the last color is coming up and we are going to do this in deep purple. I'm a purple gal. It is always one of my favorite colors. And it just outlines that heart element and adds detailing to the edges of the design as well. So we'll come around and I do love the ability when um, I'm able to share a video with you of being able to speed that up so that we can go through all of the details and still not take up hours of your time. Um, this project altogether took about an hour to create. And we come through and one of the things that I like about this design is the different textures that are included in it that do just give it different points of interest. And coming along the second side now and we're almost finished let's have a look okay so the first thing I'm going to do is remove the stabilizer now I am sorry because I did stuff this up a little bit um, just in being able to video it well um, what I'm now going to do is trim around where we had our stitching lines we want to fold it in half and make sure that those two curves are exactly the same. And then what I want to do is come along with a little squeeze tube of water and get rid of any of those excess threads. And by doing that, I can then just pull the thread here off the top or from the bottom and all of that residue is now removed from my project. So remove the last of your stabilizer and get rid of all that. I'm just going to chuck it in the bin. And the next thing that I want to do is come through and add in the bag clasp. So what we get here is our bag clasp and the lock to put it in but it's the clasp that we want to put on the top here and what I've done is I've come through and I've marked up my center point and I've got just a little one centimeter um, to the width of the clasp additional piece of felt because it just needs that extra something to um, to account for the fact that the, the felt only takes up three millimeters and I'm going to come over and the screws come with our project. Now the best screwdriver that I have found is the um, screwdriver that comes with my glasses just because it is tiny. 
but any small screwdriver should work for you. Hubby just doesn't like me going through his stash. And I'm going to screw those screws in, which is just going to secure that locking mechanism to the top of our project. And this is our second screw. And I just need to wiggle that around a little bit. And our screw now sits in there and perfectly secures that lock. Okay, so that is now all done and we're ready to move on to the next part. So what I've got here is the outline of our fabric um, that we are going to put down for the main piece. What I want is I've got black bobbin fill on the back and I want to use my wash away thread in the top. And what I need to do here is very precisely lay this down. So, and the important parts are the side and the bottom that we need to catch in. If we don't catch the top in, that is okay. So colour away one of the bag together, stitches that bottom, um, colour away one does the outline, colour away two stitches the felt to our project. And sorry, you can see that I've just got that in my hand there and I just missed a tiny little bit at the top so I'm going to go back and then make sure that I collect all of that felt in the right seam. Murphy's Law says of course we have to re-thread Okay, so now that we've got that done, we are going to come through and still with the water soluble thread, we are then going to stitch out colorway three, which is going to show us where we are going to place our um, front pocket. So the front pocket is the third piece of the um, of the project cutting. It's the smallest piece of the felt and so I can come through and stitch the outline once again in wash away thread so none of this is going to end up in our final project. And I love wash away thread for this. Okay, so now I'm going to switch to black sewing thread. We have it at the top and we have it at the bottom. Now, 
I come through and I've got my felt and what I'm looking at here is where I'm going to put the clasp of my pocket. So I'm going to take the front of my project, um, sorry, the embroidered part of my project and just slide it over so that I can see at what level am I going to line up that clasp for the lock to go into. And once I've done that, I can come through and click the back of the clasp in and I've also put my handmade tag on. Now that I've done that, I can come back to my machine, lay the pocket over the outline and with black sewing thread in the top and the bobbin, we are going to come through and stitch out colorway four, which is going to stitch a blanket stitch onto these two pieces of fabric, so both pieces of felt there, to make a join. And I do just like the blanket stitch just for something, you know, just that little bit extra special. Now I hold this as it's going down just to make sure that it all comes out well. What I always make sure when I'm holding something down is that I am not impeding the movement of the machine. My touch is really light. Um, we never want to impede the, the movement because that will cause you huge trouble in the future. And then we are going to come and flip the hoop over and we are going to place our felt, our, our felt piece on the back with right side facing up, as you can see. I've secured that and I only had some scotch tape. My preference would be to use um, painter's tape. And we want to secure that exactly along the line of the project. And then we are going to return the machine to the hoop and still with our black thread, top and bottom, we're going to stitch out the final colorway, which is colorway five. And this colorway is going to secure the entire project together. Once again, slow and steady wins the race. Now this is doing a triple stitch so it is incredibly secure. If you don't like doing your stitching this way, that is absolutely fine. You can um, very easily machine stitch this yourself and you might want to use a buttonhole stitch or a straight stitch. And now I can come through and I can remove my design from the hoop and let's see what we've got. So the first thing I want to do is take away the excess stabilizer and then I'm going to run a bead of water around to get rid of any excess water soluble thread 
and you can see there that my bag fits perfectly into the slot and what I'm going to do now just as something a little bit extra special is put a side bag clasp onto my project and that is just a case of taking the metal bag clasp and screwing the screw in. Thank you so much for watching this project. I hope it has inspired you to do some machine embroidery yourself. Um, if you do have any questions, you can contact me at sales at Julie Hall Designs. We also run weekly Facebook classes at lockedinstitches.com.au. I look forward to seeing you for our next class. Until then, have a stitching day. Bye.